country where you still dream of performing well i don't think i've had a dream of performing in any particular country the only thing is that i would love to perform to as many people around the globe and within the country i'd like to share my art um i would like to share the joy that i experience while performing my thought processes through my art and share it with as many people as possible in whichever part of the globe in whichever part of the country they may be is there any other dance form you would like to learn i think kathak is it's such a complete dance form by itself i could uh, the very fact you know it's samabhang that and yet at the same time i can go into the all the mandalis whether it's this mandali or that mandali or this chari or that chari i could give so it is like life itself it's like a plasticine it depends on how you utilize it even the canvas of rhythm is amazing it's so large it's you can go from the ati vilambit that is the extreme slowest to the ati dhrut and the patterns that you do so each one having its own imagery and you can play with rhythm then again look at the abhinay sequences and the bhava sequences again the canvas is limited i could have preset items but at the same time i could just take one phrase or one word and expand on it through abhinay going into different realms of interpretation which depends on my own inner depth intensity and my imagination going to the metaphysical realm uh, philosophical realm any realm so i think kathak as a dance form affords me so much of opportunity that i don't have to look elsewhere has there ever been any embarrassing moment during any of your shows embarrassing now let me think i can only remember the first my first stage performance when i had stage fright and i was uh, very very young and um and i had um, my parents were very well they didn't like quarter baked half baked 10% baked to go on stage and i had just started learning dance but i was a little stubborn child and um, uh, and uh, i saw others going on to the stage so i made such a racket and i said i want to also be part of this uh, dance competition i well much against their wishes my mother agreed and uh, she put my name into it i'm so glad that there was a stage rehearsal one day prior to the show because when i went over there i was frozen with fright and so much so that i i was unable to come out of the fright the only thing which made me come out of the fright was my mother's one sentence all this a uh, drama bazi has to stop which means no more dance for you the when the moment she said no more dance for me i think the dam burst and the next day i went and performed and performed and performed and i came back with the first prize what is your idea of relaxing oh my idea of relaxing is dancing <laughs> or reading about dance listening to music and when i'm saying reading about dance which means uh, everything associated with it philosophy literature 
architecture, looking into sculptures, etc. So I think everything is so interlinked and interwoven and anything to do with the world of art just moves me. Which has been your most cherishing moment? Treasured moment. As a woman, the day my child was born, and as an artist, I think every moment is a treasure moment. Because every performance, every time, even during my practice session, something which I've been struggling with and comes, suddenly it comes through, that's a treasure moment. So I think dance-wise, every moment, you know, there's multiple moments which I can say have been my very, very treasured moments. Tell us one thing your fans don't know about you. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on them. <laughs> Ask them and laugh. Because uh, I dance. I was in civil service. I love reading. I write. I uh, I, I like my friends. I like uh, people I meet. I like meeting people. And I read a lot. I read a lot. And so I don't know. I don't know what the fans don't know about me. So it, you, you have to ask them. Is there any book that has a great influence on your life? In a way, I would say uh, the Bhagavad Gita has been very close to me. Uh, every time I read the Bhagavad Gita, I uh, find a different insight into it or I look at it differently. And there's so many things which is so practical yet it is so there's so much of thought behind it, there's so much of philosophy. So I would say the Bhagavad Gita in a way has been something which I've held very close to me.